The PD-8 engine is being modified to replace the D-436TP turbofan on the B-200 amphibian aircraft because the D-436TP comes from Ukraine and is hard to get. A lot of technical, dimensional, and system integration work needs to be done for this shift to happen. From what we have heard, the engine will be called PD-8-200. The D-436TP has a bigger fan diameter of about 1,350 mm and a longer overall length of about 4,230 mm. The PD-8 has a fan diameter of 1,228 mm and an overall length of 3,589 mm, including the mixer. Because of this, the PD-8 is about 640 mm shorter and has a 120 mm smaller fan width. The PD-8 with nacelle weighs about 2,300 kilograms, which is more than the D-436TP's dry weight of about 1,450 kilograms without the nacelle and other parts. Because of these changes, the PD-8 can't be used instead of the D-436TP without a lot of redesigning. To make room for the PD-8, the B-200's engine mountings need to be rebuilt or changed to fit the size and weight of the new engine. The nacelle integration needs to be redone from scratch to fit the PD-8's outside and inside dimensions and to account for changes in airflow and mounting points. Because the two engine types have different engine management layouts, the controls, wiring, fuel systems, bleed air, and hydraulics all need to be adjusted when putting the two engines together. There is a chance that the airframe will need local structural strengthening and aerodynamic changes mainly around the wing root and pylon areas, to handle the new installation loads. Certification and flying tests are important parts of the process of adapting. The new engine and airframe combination has to go through a strict certification process that is designed to make it work in the B-200, which fights fires and can land and swim. This means that the engines have to handle harsh conditions like corrosion and high humidity that aren't common in flight settings. To deal with these problems, the PD-8 is getting better defense against corrosion and thorough testing to make sure it works well. In contrast to the D-436TP, the PD-8 has a more complex electric thrust reverser design, which is sometimes called a lettuce type. This means that the nacelle and pole need to be redesigned even more to make sure they work right and can be moved safely through the water. Also, putting together the engine control system is hard because the PD-8 has a full authority digital engine control system that needs to be fully connected to the B-200's electronics. To be used in marine and amphibious operations, the PD-8 needs to be adapted in additional ways. Because the B-200 often takes off and lands in water, the engine has advanced corrosion protection features, such as coatings and materials that don't break down in salt water or high moisture. Seals and protective shields are very important for keeping water out of electronics and sensitive parts. Changes to the intake design, like adding water separators or shields, lower the chance of water getting in during splashdowns and activities that happen on the water's surface. The cooling and draining systems are set up to quickly get rid of any water that gets into the nacelle or other systems. Thermal coats keep turbine and compressor parts from wearing out faster when they come in contact with water and salt. The engine control system is set up to handle the changing situations that come up during takeoff and landing in water. Maintenance and inspection schedules are changed to keep an eye on and lessen the effects of corrosion and erosion that are common in marine settings. The PD-8 engine is being adapted to fit the B-200 based on lessons learned and a lot of experience from the PD-14 and other Russian turbofan projects. This made it possible to use cutting-edge Russian materials and additive manufacturing methods. This leads to better thrust efficiency, lower running costs, more technical independence, and compliance with the latest environmental standards around the world. PD-8 certification flights are currently happening on the SJ-100 regional jet. By late 2025, 
full clearance should be achieved. After this, full attempts to integrate the PD-8 into the B-200 will begin. Based on the schedule, it looks like the B-200 will keep using D-436TP engines for now, and the fleet will be gradually upgraded over a number of years. Strategically, the PD-8-powered B-200 variant is meant to give Russia more technological independence, increase export opportunities, especially by getting rid of export barriers caused by Ukrainian engines, and make firefighting and amphibious missions around the world more efficient and reliable. Countries around the world that are at risk of wildfires, like the US, Turkey, Greece, and Southern Europe, could benefit from the more powerful and better supported B-200 with PD-8 engines. This long and difficult process of adapting, which includes changing the size and shape of the planes and making them more resistant to the elements and integrating their control systems, is a big step forward for Russian aviation technology and the B-200 fleet's future. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Also, please take our channel membership, which is very affordable, to encourage us.